Hello everyone, how are you? Um, today I am going to discuss with you about RabbitMQ. So, as you might know, RabbitMQ is a queue management system. So, if you have uh, an application which requires a active queue to process jobs or tasks, then you can use RabbitMQ for this. For example, if you have to send, let's say, uh, 10,000 emails from your application to users, so you cannot do that on a runtime. You need to use a queue management system. So, put that. Uh, you need to put all those things uh, on the list of the emails in the queue and then you need to pull those one by one and send emails so that's the standard process so for that RabbitMQ is very useful and a lot of people use this it's a, uh, it's a software or service that runs on your Linux machine so um, to do this install you need to have an S2 instance and then over there you need to install RabbitMQ over I'm going to use RabbitMQ using Docker here. So uh, let's just display this RabbitMQ with Docker and you can see how easily we can do that. So first I'm going to create a new instance by creating launch instance. And then I'm going to choose Amazon Linux 1. Then I'm going to choose T2 Micro, the free tier. Then I'm going to choose storage, then tags, and then security groups I have already configured the security group so I will just use this okay uh, preview and launch okay I use existing key pairs and then I acknowledge I have it launch okay so uh, it will take one or two minutes to launch the instance while it is launching I just copy the IP address and prepare my putty so uh, click here and copy the public IP that's it and then I go to putty and then I go to uh, my SQL server over there I just change the IP address just point the path the ppk file here then I save and if it's instance state if it's ready then I can connect yeah it's running so I can try to connect it open Trust this connection. Okay, it is now uh, connected. And okay, that's fine. <coughs> then I am going to uh, install Docker. So the command is sudo yum install docker minus y. Minus y means yes. Okay, then. Um, that's clear. Okay. Then I have to start the Docker. Same sudo service Docker start. Okay. Then I am going to pull the Docker uh, image from the official repository. So for that, I will just go to Docker Hub. Hub Docker .com and then. I will search for RabbitMQ. This is the official image, RabbitMQ. Let's go over there. Docker pool RabbitMQ. Okay, let's pull that. I just need to add a uh, sudo. Docker pool Revit API. Okay, let's run it. Okay, so we have pulled that image. Now uh, here are some commands over there which we can use. So we need to use the management 
plugin here and I am going to uh, okay I am going to use this command here but it says that docker run minus d minus daemon hostname my rabbit mq name some rabbit mq and then this is the default user and this is the default password and this is the my image okay that's that's fine I have just uh, put this command, copied this here, so where I put the user, default user admin and the password tutorial. And here I just added the port 8080, which will be running on my uh, website, on my server, and this is the Docker port. So uh, let's copy this command paste it here, we just add sudo in front of it, sudo is already added, then just paste it and run it, okay, great, so now if I copy the IP address, or uh, the public DNS, and put the IP 804, then I will see this is my RabbitMQ. That's great. So you see, you have just we have just installed RabbitMQ into our EC2 instance with just less than one or two minutes. Okay, now I need to use the default username that I've given here, admin, and the password tutorial. So admin. That's it. You should use some uh, strong password, but let's uh, not dive into this. Anyway, then uh, you have default connections, you have channels, and then you have queues, you have admins. So all those things are here. You can add new admins, new users. So uh, anything you do, yeah, you can create virtual hosts. So you can create channels, and these are your queues. So you can see how easily you can create a uh, RabbitMQ with our EC2 instance using Docker, and it can uh, run as a demo background, and your application can easily communicate with this uh, RabbitMQ application, and then you can easily build up applications which require queue management system. So uh, one thing I just need to mention that in, in your um, security group, you need to open that port. Otherwise, you might see that uh, it is not working. So you need to open that port 8080 to either your IP or everyone. Uh, otherwise, you might not see this interface. So that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully, it will help you to use Docker, uh, Docker and RabbitMQ in your applications. I'm going to terminate the instance because this is not required anymore. And I hope you will build more uh, robust applications where queue management is a essential part. Thank you for watching my video and have a nice day.